Have you had it with your scraps? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. They're building up. They're everywhere. I feel your pain. Let's tackle this and let's tackle it gently and soothingly and relaxingly. This is Pam at the Paper Outlet Post. Yeah, where am I? Where am I? <laughs> and we're just having fun today, relaxing. Okay. Okay, so. Drop the mic. Yep, one of those days. Hang on, I'll get it back. Here it comes. Here we go. Everybody settle in. Grab some scraps. It's going to be an easy one. Oh, okay. Drop the mic again. Maybe not. <laughs> Why do I say that? I should know better. Okay. There we go. Okay. Um, so let me just back up a little. Whoop, nope. There. So you got piles of like stuff. You know what I mean? Maybe you got book pages. You got scraps. I just thought to myself, Let's do something fun. Let's do something simple and let's make it easy breezy. So I'm just going to make some little papers. I, I'm just going to call them papers because that's what they are. So let me give you a, a grand example of the depth of this project. Okay, here's a paper. Okay. And now I've got my little trusty ruler here. I'm just going to tear this paper, give myself a reasonably sized paper. Here's a nice little paper to work with. Oh gosh, you're so far away. Come closer. It's, uh, it's, it's up close and personal today. Okay, now so you got something flat underneath you, right? Whatever you like to stamp on, get your stampin' mojo going. This is what I like to stamp on, this little square thing. Some people like spongy things under them. I don't know, I like the square thing. I'm gonna grab, grab some black soot, distress ink, and I'm just gonna stamp. One stamp per page. Yeah, there we go, here we go. There, now, what is this you say? That's not rocket science. Anybody can do that. But we can just tuck this into any pocket or a tuck. So let's say in a junk journal. Do I have a junk journal right here right now? Um, hang on. Yeah, I got something over here. Let me go look. Oop, where's that other one? I just had it right on my desk. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. okay, I can sit down again. Hang on. Oh, oh. Okay. So say you have a junk journal. And... Uh, you know, you just want to stick something onto a page. Maybe you want to paper clip it on. Maybe you want to tuck it into a pocket or a tuck or, or like I said, paper clip it on. You know, you could do something like that. Uh, but these are great to have on mass because you can complement these with, say, for example, here's some old um, identification. And you could maybe slip a little writing paper underneath that. So if somebody wants to write an extra little note with that little piece of old ephemera, they can do that. So having a bunch of these on hand that are made from your scraps. Holy moly, now we are talking. So, whoop, oh, hang on. Where are you going? I got my leg caught in the wire. Okay, I'm back. Um, <laughs> it's only, uh, what, it's 1230. I can't even say it's, it's, it's. Okay, I'm just grabbing some stamps. And I'm grabbing some leafy ones because it's fall and I thought well that would be fun they'll they'll pretty much go in any journals and it'll give me a nice little supply to work with so oh, let's just settle in here grab our scraps and go to it okay I'm trying to make it so you can see the whole thing okay all right so one done okay put that in the done pile like I said it's very basic okay so cl clear your little area Get another scrap. They can be big scraps, little scraps. It doesn't have to be any size scrap. This happened to be what I'm working with today. I'm just going to use up the top layer of my scrap pile. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so what are you going to put on you? This is a pretty stamp. Let's use this, see what we get. Do I need more water? Maybe. Let's wet it up a little. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm going to put you on the side. Oh, yeah, that was really bad. Um, but it looks kind of cool still, doesn't it? I mean, it's really hard to screw this up because it just looks cool even when it looks bad. It looks cool. Um, there must be some curvature to this. Yeah, there is. Look at that. There's some, I don't know if you can see that, but there's curvature to this stamp. So I, I need to remember to roll. All right, I'll try and remember that. Yeah, like I'm going to remember that. Okay, let's grab another. Make a couple more. All right. We'll try this one. Not a nice leaf stamp. Is that guy? Nice little oak leaf for the fall, for the autumn of it all. Is it cool or warm where you are? 
I know what it is here. It's warm, but it's less less warm, which is nice. But um, I hope it's nice where you are. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna rock a little because you never know. Oh, that came out nice. Yeah, very nice, right? Now you could amp it up and you could ink around the edges, but I'm just gonna do a bunch of these blank you know because they're just so handy to have i mean this is like one of those things you think why am i doing this you're doing it because they're handy to have now how about some book page mm -hmm. let's use some old book page this is pretty oh, i love this old book page. this is the chronological table of something the creation of the world yes there we go that sounds pretty important um so let's put that down and we're gonna put a stamp on it okay oh how about this the tree of life kind of stamp that would be good all right let's try that okay should really get a distress oxide black but then it won't dry as fast oh well here we go well, maybe not on the word maybe here yeah that came out nice now let's see i want to make this more into this old paper tear so easily just so nice so nice and not everything has to be a journal card. Not everything has to be extra paper to write. Sometimes it can just be pretty because it's pretty. Now let me go ahead and take half the stamp off. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at that. That's kind of cool, huh? Yeah. I mean, I could just tuck that in. I could glue it to a page. I could make a flip out of it. I mean, a million and one things to do with this because it's, it's ready to go. Okay, off you go to the side. Um, let's see what else we have here. Just grab random paper, ham, Pam. Pam. Ham, what are you doing, Ham? <laughs> All right, here is some um, composition, learning how to write paper. Um, -num -num -num. Okay, let's just, what are we gonna put on you? What are we gonna put on you? How about you, you're pretty. So this is like a flower, a little flourish, flower flourish. And this could be, be turned into a little pocket very easily. It's like pocket size, or I could trim it down, or I could turn it into a side tuck. Um, it could wrap around from one page to another. It could be even a page tab. That would be kind of a cool page tab if I folded it in half and inked it all the way around, you know? I mean, just stuff like that where it's ready to go, you know? Just some stuff that's stamped. Just want a little few things that I can say that are stamped. Okay, how about these little guys? All right, let's pull out our you-know-whats. Here's our you-know-whats, our little peg stamps. Aren't these cute? Got mine from Nora Jane on Etsy. Um, no affiliation, just like her stamps. And... Uh, but I think you can get them all sorts of places. Like there's like pegstamp.com or something like that. Okay, these make cute little um, page trims and things like that. Let's say you're going along, find a page. Um, maybe like a white page or something. Maybe you just want to put something like that on there. Or oh, maybe, maybe you want to add it onto here. Just put it like, just keep layering. Just keep layering. When you don't want to know, know what to do, you just keep layering. That's right. That's right. Okay, so there, that's done. Okay, so let's just, whatever we have, that's kind of pretty. That's that other half of that. And I think I'm just going to leave it as is, and I'm going to call it done. So this is how we work our way through our scrap pile. Okay, here's some white. That could be handy. Um, am I recording? Somebody tell I don't have my glasses on. Where are they? There they are. Oh, reach. Oh, okay, got them. All right, here they come. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, there you are. Hello. Hi, Sally in the back. I see you. Yeah, Marge. Ethel, <laughs> how are you all today? Are we having fun? Yeah, good, good. The kids are good, good. That's great, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those grandkids, they're all right? Yeah, they don't call enough, do they? No, I know, I know. Um, well, you know, you remember, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> all right, here's a nice, uh, what's that? Oh, we'll use you, okay. This is a nice maple leaf. Did we use this yet? I don't know. Well, we'll use it right now. Maybe this is the one I didn't round enough. Okay, I'm not sure. We'll, go, we'll try it. We'll put on, we got a lot of ink on there. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put it off to the corner a little bit. Okay. Sometimes going off the edge looks kind of cool for some reason. Don't know why, but if you do it, oh, look at that. It came out really good on shiny paper. Yeah. Um, be careful you don't smudge that because if it's got a little slickness to it, it might smudge. And if you have some roughy edges, sometimes they're fun to reinforce with uh, or emphasize that's what i'm trying to say with some extra color yeah there we go so we have that and then i, I want to do more look at this i have a matching peg stamp okay and oh, a little bit to mid zone okay 
There we go. And let's get in the black set. And maybe let's just come down this side. Yeah, because we can. I don't know. In threes, right? Something about the magic of threes? Well, let's put another one over here just to cause problems. There we go. I'm just going to call that done. Yep, that's just done. Let's put it over there. So this is really just, you know, using what... Okay, here we go. Some leftover paper bag. Yes, one of my favorite resources of all. Paper bag, paper bag, yay, paper bag. Let's make some small uh, little papers out of this. We'll make a couple small ones. And maybe make some long ones. Not that long, but... But you can make a lot out of one paper bag. Boy, if you had ever had any other craft supply, and if you could only have one craft supply, we should do some uh, challenges like that. Like if you could only have one craft supply, what would it be? I was supposed to use this on that, wasn't I? Yes, I was going to use that. Okay, you get back right over here and use it. All right, well, a couple things I could do. I could do the little tie thing, but not gonna, not gonna do that this time, no. You know, this time I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna fool you completely. I'm going to do a coil. Yeah, we'll see if this works. I have no idea. It's kind of along the lines of the bird's nest, but with a lot less string. Uh, yeah, okay, here we go. I've coiled. Now let's see if I can glue it down in the coil shape. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Where should I put it here? Okay. All right, are you coming out? Are, are, you, are you playing today? Are you, are, did you clog on me? You clogged. Go away with you. I'm not talking to you anymore, Fabrifix. You and I are over. That's right, it's over. <laughs> It's not over. Who are we kidding? Um, yeah, I'm just going to use some of my Scotch Create glue stick. Won't grab as fast, probably to my detriment. Let's see if I can get this down without it unraveling. Eh. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Okay, maybe design wise, not the most amazing thing in the world, but hey, hey, it's stuck. <laughs> that's what I wanted to show you. So that's kind of cool. All right. See, the Fabrifix, or not the Fabrifix, I'm not talking to you, Fabrifix. My Scotch Create glue stick does work on light fabric projects. So very, very small, tiny fabric things. It will grab point in case, point in case. Okay. Next, what do we have? Oh yeah, paper bag. Ah, paper bag. Let's see. What are we going to do without a paper bag? I think I used all these stamps already. How, how did that happen so fast? I don't know. Let me just grab a bunch more. I just have a bunch there sitting on my desk. All my organization is gone. Yeah. Looks, it looks so cute for that instant in time, you know what I mean? But it's cute up there, but if it's up there, you know what? That means I'm not using it. Okay, this is pretty. This is just downright pretty, right? Okay, let's do something with this. Okay, for all you inking aficionados, I'm sure I'm doing this wrong, but I'm just going for it. Okay, uh, what are you? Go away. Okay, here we go, ready? Stamp it, Pam. Okay. Oh, I should have stuck that under there because I could have gotten a little more on that guy. Oh, well, it's too late. We'll do that with the next one. There. Look at that. I mean, there's some, like, just little, whoop, sorry. Was I too, I was too close. Okay, let me go. I'll do it again. <laughs> very pretty though, right? Just a very subtle thing you can use for collaging. I mean, just think how fun this would be with collaging. Let that stuff dry because collaging will be a lot better then. Okay, so let's, uh, here's some skinny skinny white pieces. Let's try this. Okay. Let's lay these up beside each other. Maybe we can double stamp. Maybe we can triple stamp all beside each other at the same time with these bigger stamps. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, I'm going to take the same one. And if your stamps are, whoop, sorry, that was my knee again. If your stamps are not behaving, like they're not giving you enough of an impression, you can sometimes, where is it? Take a sanding block or something like this sandpaper and just give it a little rub and it gives the rubber a little scuff to grab some tooth it get, creates tooth in the rubber and then it's going to pick up the ink let's let's see if i'm i'm making if i'm i could be you know talking out of something that shouldn't be talked out of we need to have proof in the pudding okay and also you might need more sponginess underneath you so say some but i've never really had luck with the sponginess so i don't know okay let's try it okay Hmm. Well, it sticks better. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. Hello. Um, okay. Not apples to oranges here, but does anybody see a difference in the depth of the... Okay. I'm using two different papers. I need to use the same paper. Well, I can't prove this anymore because it's already done. So I need to do this on... I really like these. 
I'm just going to put them over here before I smudge them. Yeah, that really worked good. Okay, so everybody get out your sanding block. <laughs> get out your sanding block and start sanding your stamps. And if you, if you mess them up, you never heard it from me. Yeah. Okay, I'm only showing you what I'm doing with my stuff. And if it works, great. I can't guarantee this will work with everybody's, but and I don't know if it works with silicone. I wouldn't, don't even know to try. Okay. Well, here, let's put another... I don't want to waste the stamp. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Stamp! Oh, well, I would say that's definitely stronger than the first one. Maybe not perfectly the way it was on the white shiny, but definitely an improvement. So you're finding your stamps are not stamping well? Give them a little... I, I'm just saying, I've seen it done. I've seen it done, and it seems to... Uh, yeah, I really like that, actually. I wouldn't be afraid to sand more. Going to be seeing me. Okay. Who wasn't playing? Was it you? Give me that sanding block. Maybe different directions. Creates tooth. Now, you could also erase your design. I guess that would be the grand foible flobble of this all, is you just take off the intricate delicacies of the fine... Um, Vineage or something. Let's see what happens. No, not bad. I still got lots of Vineage in there. You know, the little veins. That's what I'm trying to say. Vainage. I really need to learn how to roll. Okay, let me try again. Okay, can you see? Am I there? Here, let go here. Okay. Oh, yeah, long guy. Oh, look at that. Big, that, that was better. Yeah, I rolled. I rolled, I sanded and I rolled and it came out much better. Yeah, but that's kind of cool. That whole little piece, isn't it? That's just pretty. I mean, you could even put that on the spine of a book. Wouldn't that be cool? I mean, so many things you can do with just such simple little project ideas. You know, it's just like, just sit down with your, if you've got a pile of scraps, like I do, several piles, several garbage bags full, maybe this is the day you just want to sit down and do something like this. Okay, let's, let's do something on... Oh, my husband's upstairs doing a video and he's like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, here we go. What am I doing? Oh, this is um, coffee dyed tracing, uh, tea dyed, tea dyed tracing paper. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, what should we do this? Oh, I got bones. That's neat. Um, okay, this stamp I like, but it's always given me a very great, like barely see it kind of stamp. So I'm going to try this technique. Well, let me, let me show you first. Okay, here. I'm pushing hard and I'm rocking back and forth. Okay, that's actually not bad. <laughs> of course, right? That's what I got from this from the get-go. Okay, let's do one beside it and I'm gonna do a little sanding. Gosh, it doesn't look like there's much. I'm, I'm afraid to take the whole image off, but let me do it with mine before you go risk yours. Okay, just lightly, maybe just lightly. Just lightly, I think, do it is the ticket. Okay, ready? Do, 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 off. Oh, it definitely, I don't know. I don't know, people. I, I think it makes a difference. You, there's probably a tipping point where you could just go too far, but that's really cool, isn't it? I mean, for very little effort, and I didn't have to go buy a stamp. Okay, this is Neighbor's Lawn Guy, not my lawn guy. My lawn guy was just here, as I'm sure you heard <laughs> if you were watching the video the other day. Okay, what else do I have? Oh, I really like that. That's very nice. I don't know. Let's, oh, maybe Froggy? He needs a little, uh, you need a little buff and scrub, don't you? Yeah, it's not just Sunny that's at the spa. My rubber stamps are all at the spa today, too. I should get you on there. Oh, yeah, you punch much better. Much better. Much crisper. Yeah. Yeah, we like you. We'll put you on there, too. So sometimes if you have some stuff, just, you know, put four stamps on one page. I mean, you don't even have to decide what this is for right now. And these could be four individual things. I just happen to have them all on one piece of tracing paper so they're ready to go you don't, you don't need to buy all that stuff out there forget that silliness stop purchasing <laughs> oh there goes my business um but really really um like a torn book page you know it's like okay let's just roll with it let's just keep tearing it and maybe we're just gonna tear this whole little text block out of here i don't know i have a fascination for text blocks don't get rid of this stuff because this really cool velvety caramel Paper can be used for so many things. Oh, I just I, I want to make like a cluster out of it right now. Oh, let's do it. Let's just let's make one. Okay, maybe three pieces. So cute, so innocent, nothing to it. And just staple it. Where's my stapler? Oh my gosh, I reorganized my place and I have no idea where I put my stapler. All right, we'll make those another day. Um I know it, I know, I know where I put it. <laughs> it's right behind me. 
Yep, here it is. This is the tiny, I always want to say tiny Tim. This is the Tim Holtz tiny stapler. It's not the tiny Tim stapler. The Tim Holtz tiny stapler. Tim, I don't know. Maybe you should change the name of that thing. <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here we have this. Isn't that pretty? Let's put some bones on it. Yeah, some bones. Maybe we're going to do a, um, a botanical expedition kind of... Um, journal that would be fun those are always fun in the fall i don't know i can like see somebody with an indiana jones style hat whoa did that come out holy moly um okay lost it a little there in the middle but pretty good all around i'd say um what else do we have we have this one that's kind of pretty this is a well it's gonna be a pump 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 since i have you out i might as well give you all a few little a little uh i'm sure stamping people are going to be like what are you doing stamping sanding your stamps you're gonna take the image off listen i had no image to begin with you know the image was just not there i've stamped i get lots of stamp i put it on a flat surface i put it on a spongy surface nothing nothing i got nothing i sand i get image so and a lot of my stamps there i buy them used so i don't have a lot of um uh you know money invested in expensive stamping so you know if one goes haywire it's okay you know it's it's like i can i can let's use this little guy this is, these are fun do you like how i like I'm like halfway through a sentence and completely go off in a different direction. Let's try this. Oh, this would be pretty. Let's take that little heart. Let's just give him a quick little rub. A couple little directions. Okay, that's all. And then let's just do some heart hopping. Yeah, heart hopping. Oh, maybe this heart is like just going along here. And that's what we're going to do with this little heart. It's always good to have like, like a halfer coming on the page. I don't know why, but that's a thing. And then just use that for something. I don't know. Something later. Use that for something. What else we got? What else we got? What's this? Okay. This is nice blue writing on a, on a journal page. Uh, no, this is a book, Pam. This is a page from a book. Okay, so let's just tear some. Yeah, let's do a thin one and a thick one. And... You don't need a hundred stamps also. Um, and let's kind of play with how you can use one stamp for multiple things. Maybe that would be, where are we time-wise? Maybe is that, oh, am I even, oh, please tell me I'm recording. Yeah, I am, okay. Whew. Okay, let's try that. Oh, okay. Hang on, oh, there, I'm, I'm in. <laughs> it's not that easy anymore. It used to be really easy. Not that easy. All right, let's try this for fun. This is just coming along the wayside. Uh, you remember our old friend, Stabilo pencil? It's a water-soluble black pencil. Let's just, uh, let's just draw some kind of tree-like thing. Yeah, how about like that? It's not even a tree, it's like a thing. And then let's just take some stamps and we will just stamp. Yeah, how about, how about, we'll start with that one. Here's some black. Did I sand you? No, I probably forgot. All right, let's just like have you hang off there. Oh, yep, didn't quite make it on there. It's all right though, it doesn't matter. I don't think it really has to be perfect or anything. And you don't even have to be, oop, that wasn't so good at all. But it gives you the idea of what it looks like. You know what I mean? Now you're starting to create something. And um, maybe let's do, these are more, I don't know, like wispy, shrubby sort of things okay try that and uh let me do these little explosions i don't know what these are but some kind of a little explosions let's try those although maybe i should stick with the same thing yeah maybe we shouldn't go off the reservation like that so much go back over there pam okay here we go let's put you back up here have you hanging down okay well not bad okay up there, there okay and then maybe one just growing up here. Okay, I kind of missed it. It's all right. Now, okay, that's not so good. But uh, hey, let's let, we're giving it a go. <laughs> now let's add this in here and see what happens. Maybe we can fix the areas where it looks weird. So what I'm doing, I need to zoom you in. See the area where I, oh, I didn't land it at the right spot? It's, let's just, let's try to cover it with another stamp, see if that fixes it. So it looks more like um, a hyacinth growing on a strange bush for some reason because we're using stamps to cover our woes 
Yeah. Now you don't have to do all this extra stuff, but you can. And that kind of starts to bring it all together and makes it look like it was all on purpose. <laughs> okay, here we go. If I had a Q-tip, do I have a Q-tip? I have like a hundred Q-tips, but they're way over there and I don't feel like getting them. We're doing this again. Okay. Water and finger. Okay. Probably shouldn't do this, but we're too late doing it. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, see, we don't know until we try. I think it's looking or uh, Asian. Like or, uh, no, oriental design, right? Yes. Asian people, oriental design. I think that's a little, looks a little Asian. Okay, let's face it. It doesn't look like much, but I think it's kind of cool because we combined stamps together with the Stabilo pencil and we had some fun. <laughs> that's right. So you could use this for something. And I think it looks kind of cool with the writing in the back. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah. So you could stick that onto a journal page. You could just tuck it into a pocket. Wouldn't that look cute? Like, oh, what's that? Little hand drawing there. Um, combo stamping and hand drawing together. Very nice. So there's no limit to the fun that we can have with paper and our little rubber stamps. Okay, what else do we have here? Okay, what's this guy? This is some piece of some fine, fancy foo-foo writing paper. Okay, well, maybe we'll fold you over. And we'll just do something with you. All right, so, well, I have these cute little bees. Yeah, and I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? Oh, oh, look at me go, look at me go, I'm sanding it. Yes, I am. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, okay. And we're just going to, uh, we'll do a line of bees down this guy. Yeah, okay. Okay, the, the, the stamp images are coming out very nicely, I would say. So they're all different. It's amazing how different they are. Can I just show you? And this is all what I call user error. <laughs> Let me get some more light on the subject. Okay. Bring you over here, Mr. Light. Get you out of my face. Okay, there we go. Yeah. They're all different because of the way I leaned on the stamp. But the stamp itself is exactly the same. So it gets to show you. It goes to show you how much user um, usage changes the ultimate outcome, which is actually, that's where the artist comes in. We like to call it art. Sometimes it's just goofing around. <laughs> Today is we're just goofing around, but with purpose. And uh, cause we can make fun things. Okay. So let's, let's try some more combo stamping. Okay. Let's do that. All right. So here I have bird feet. Okay. These are undeniably bird feet, light sand as we're doing. But I think they could also be twigs or trees or something. Let's see if we can do something like that with them and maybe make them uh, look like bird, like not like bird feet, but actually like plants, like dried twiggy things on the bottom. Mm hmm. Dried twiggies, twiggies, more twiggies. You can layer twiggies. Sometimes twiggies can go up high and sometimes they're low. <laughs> Never know where Twiggies go. Okay, so there we have that. That's kind of cool, right? And what did we do? We just used a stamp for another purpose. So it's going to look like a scrub brush. Maybe the um, if you're just looking over the um, horizontal plane of a marsh and you're just seeing twigs and stuff stick up. Maybe, maybe you want to have like a little, here we go. There's like a little woo-ha. You could have a little woo-ha at the top of it. What is that? I can't even see with my glasses on. Um, maybe just some little little grassy things like this on top on um, every one every now and then. Um, just for to make it look more scrubby brushy. Now we're on the bottom. Okay, Whoop. come on over. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Oh, got it. Okay. So they can change what they originally were. So you don't have to buy a million stamps, maybe buy five <laughs> and see what you can do with five. I think that would be a lot of fun. Maybe one big one, one little one and one. And if you don't have a stick one, like that looks like sticks, just draw your sticks and then attach things to it. Let's do more of that. That was actually pretty fun. Okay. I'm just going to use a regular, um, marker. Yeah. Here is a Sharpie pen of some sort. Fine tip. Looks like that on the end. It's a little marker. Okay, so let's just do some, uh, well, let's just do some swirlies. Okay, I'm gonna do some swirlies. 
Okay. Now do the swirly. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm not pre-thinking this at all. And I just did that. Okay, you can't see it too far away because I used to, it's a thin marker. Okay, so it's not very dark, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add stuff to it. So I'm going to go into my tickle trunk here. Of, I know I'm only supposed to have five, so that's not really fair, is it? Oh, well, too bad. <laughs> here we go. There's one. And uh, let's stamp that and see what it does. I'll put one right in the center. How about that? There. 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 And now we could also come along. It's going to look like a little caterpillar coming around here, isn't it? I forgot to, oh, I forgot to sand it. Nag nab it. Okay, we'll get you next time. Oh, this is looking kind of cool. I kind of like that. Oh, that's kind of cool, right? That almost looks like um, very fancy wallpaper or something. Oh, that's a, huh. Okay, let's keep going. See what we got here. Get ahead of yourself. Just stay calm. Okay. Because it's fun when it starts to work, you know, and you're like, oh, that is cool. I'm so glad I tried it. See, see how it's like not picking up as much ink? I'm going to sand it at this point. I'm just going to come in at the 11th hour. Okay, let's see what we got. Nora Jane, don't look. <laughs> okay, I'm sanding your peg stamps. Okay. So you get like maybe three or four good stamps and then it kind of, you know, you just lose ink. That's what happens. All right. Well, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> I don't know if it looks as cool on uh, video, but it looks really cool in real life. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, a million one things you can do. You are never lost. No, nope, no. Nope. There's always something you can make and it doesn't take much. Um... <clears throat> Let's see what else we have here. Or are we done pretty well? I think we're pretty good, huh? We did quite a few things. I'm going to just give you a little look-see to see what we did in just a few minutes sitting here. Oh, we did all this stuff. We did all this stuff. Let me go back up so you can see a little bit better. Look at these guys. Let me cover my inks because I know. I, I hear you. I hear you, Elizabeth. My Zandine Elizabeth. Cover your inks. <laughs> she said in a beautiful, a beautiful accent. Okay, look at these. Look at the wizardry of this. Okay. We got, we got ideas and we got fun things to play with. So I want you to know there's always more to make. There's always more. Isn't this pretty? I mean, wouldn't that be just cool as um, a master board collage? I mean, wouldn't that be amazing? I just think that would be the cat's meow. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, that looks cool. So, you got, so it's nice to splash in some white amongst the caramels. Oh, can I, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really going to have to get that other mic thing. Okay, I'll try and order it today if I remember. Um, I know it's driving me bonkers too. Okay, this was cool. Yeah, I really like that. I mean, just like, look at all this cool stuff. This is just like awesome. So just grab your, grab your rubber stamps or whatever you got and just like grab some scraps for gosh sakes and just make stuff out of it because it's beautiful and you can have some fun and you can get lost in the papers and dive in and roll around and forget about everything else and just have a big smile on your face. So that's, just, that is what I hope for you. And uh, so have lots of papery fun today. And um, thanks again for sharing your very valuable time with me. I really feel it's um, uh, you guys fill my fire. Uh, you fuel my fire and get it going again and fill my cup and keep me moving. So thank you very much. You're all very inspirational. And um, uh, okay, for anybody who is new or new to junk journaling or paper crafting, if you don't know, at the Paper Outpost, here we go. You think I'd have it memorized. Uh, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time. Are we still recording? Yes. And um, my podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays and they're free to listen to. It's all paper crafting, junk journal, crafty questions, um, related stuff. And uh, if uh, you want to get a free digital image emailed to you monthly, sign up for my monthly emailed newsletter and you get a few things in there. A note from the bookmaker, checklist of supplies, all sorts of fun stuff. Um, I have a Facebook group, Paper Outpost Facebook group. Come and check that out. I have an Etsy shop where you can buy all sorts of fun stuff. Come on over and check it out. I have an Amazon shop. Um, you can find me on interest, Pinterest, interest, Pinterest, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And all my links are linked in the drop down box below. And remember to, um, if you find fun, if you had fun or find value here, please like, subscribe, and share, and click the bell. And remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon. And Sunny will be back before you know it because he's still getting his hair cut. 
So, um, uh, no, I, this, this is my second video. He's not still at the vet. Like there's time passed for you, but it's actually, I just did two videos back to back. So I'm going to get him in a few minutes. So um, you'll get to see him with his haircut and everything um, at a video coming up very soon. So take care, everybody. Um, have an awesome day. Remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon. Bye.